Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video we're going to go through some basic setup and then some code in order to detect the user's browser. However, the first stage of this, you need to obtain a file um, that needs to be placed inside um, a directory, preferably inside your exam setup or, or whatever a distribution you're using of a PHP package, a PHP Apache package, and you also need to modify your PHP.ini file. So before you do anything, even if you think this file is up to date, we need to find a file called um, it's called browsecap.ini. So if you haven't got this file inside um, your, I mean I'm in. I'm in XAMP here and then in PHP uh, you need to you need to have this file somewhere existing so you can re-download it if you Google for it you'll be able to find it at some uh, somewhere available to download just make sure it's the file for um, for PHP and not uh, for I uh, for uh, for PHP yeah. so okay once you've obtained this file copy it over to a directory um, that you can access um, and you can specify in your php.ini uh, file. So once you've found this file we go to um, php.ini, let's find that down here, okay and we're going to open this. So I already have this open and I've searched for browse cap and I can see this here and I've got browse cap equals something. So here we're going to specify where this browse cap file is kept and in my case it's c colon backslash xamp and then it's in php and then we need to specify the file name itself. So once you've done this you can go ahead and file save. Now what we need to do is we're going to open up um, our control panel for xamp and I'm going to stop our Apache service so I'm going to click stop. Now that's stopped and I can restart it now. So our phpini.ini uh, settings have been uh, initialized by our reset of this. Now what we need to do is come into context and I'm going to introduce you to a function that's going to allow us to get data about the browser. So now as if you've correctly downloaded browsecup.ini, put it inside a directory and changed your php.ini to point to that file this should work. If it doesn't work then uh, check you've done absolutely everything right and you've restarted Apache as well. So inside context I'm going to create a new variable called browser and this is going to be equal to a function get browser. Now this function takes two arguments. The first argument is the user agent which we could obtain from um, the dollar underscore server um, HTTP user agent. However, we're not going to do that. We're just going to specify the value of null. Now, the second, um, the second uh, argument that we need to provide is whether we want this to be returned as an array, and we do want this to be turned returned as an array because that's how we're going to use it later on. So you just simply put true here. You can put one if you want, but it's probably just better to put true. So. How are we going to echo out all of the uh, array contents? Well, we're going to use the print R for this, and we're going to obviously put uh, the browser um, reference to the array in there. So now let's refresh the page and see what happens. Right, okay, so you can see that it's returned quite a few bits of information about my browser. Now, you can see things like Chrome in here, Chrome 10, etc., um, as well as some other information. If you're not receiving any of this information, like Chrome, Mozilla, anything like that, then you may have uh, incorrectly downloaded or incorrectly referenced this uh, browsecap.ini. So again, make sure that's correct. Um, you may just see sort of star uh, under this browser name regex or something. So if you have the following information in front of you, you will be good to proceed. So. This is the first stage to using this get browser function and in the second part of this tutorial we're going to look at how we can extract information from this and we're also going to test it with a couple of other browsers to make sure this information is correct before we start creating if statements to detect the user's browser. Now just before I go in this part I want to talk about why we might want to detect the user's browser. 
it's always an important part of when you're viewing a web page to format things correctly for users um, and also you might want to notify users that using another browser might be better to display your web page so when you are when you are creating a web page it might look slightly different in other browsers and if you want to say say to a user uh, download download Google Chrome it's this is going to work a lot better then you can recommend say Google Chrome to your users in order for them to switch their browser in order for them to view your page a lot better so how are we going to work it out well we're going to say if they're say using Firefox or Internet Explorer we might want to say to them you're using this browser please change to Google Chrome to view this website correctly uh, and vice versa as well a web page might be better displayed in, in, in Internet Explorer or it might be better displayed in Firefox as well as a host of other browsers that you can use so including say Opera or Safari so in the next part of the tutorial we're going to look at how we can extract some of this information and detect the user's browser and just print a message to them uh, telling them what their browser is but we're not going to give them any of this rubbish information we're basically going to give them it, it a single uh, a single um, string so we're going to give them Chrome or uh, Firefox or Mozilla or uh, Internet Explorer do you know what I mean something like that so we're not going to be giving them Chrome 10.0 or Chrome with the platform uh, uh, sorry or Chrome like this we're just going to give it in lowercase uh, and we're going to use this some of this information to detect what browser the user might be using